So as you all probably already know, last week we got the release of the new Grandmaster quest, Song of the Elves. And by completing it, you are granted access to the brand new city of Priftinus. And everyone was making videos on the gauntlet and on the new Zolcano boss. But immediately as I set foot into Priftinus, I was interested in checking out the new agility course. The XP rates, the crystal shards per hour, etc etc. But what was the most intriguing thing about it is that I watched a Q&A that Jagex did. And they said that the agility course was going to be like no other in terms of basically every other agility course being the same thing. You click on the same obstacles until you get a level and then you move to a new course and do the same thing again. But this course was apparently different in that if you paid attention, the XP rates would increase. Now, what they meant by that is that on almost every obstacle, there is a chance of a teleport spawning there. And by you going through the teleport, you are completing the course faster. And you're also getting more XP by going through the portal instead of just going through the obstacle, which is pretty cool. Also, there's a 1 in 4 chance of getting a crystal shard by going through the portal. So you do have to go through the portals to get the shards. And the shards are used to power the new blade of Seldor or to make the new crystal armor or the new crystal tools. There's a bunch of stuff that you can do with it, so it's always good to have crystal shards. And in the 10 hours, I managed to get 132 crystal shards, which is around 13 per hour. Maybe I got lucky, I'm not sure. I watched other YouTubers and they got around like 10, but I'm pretty sure that you can squeeze at least 12 per hour if you're paying a little bit of attention. But one thing that kind of fucked me over is that today is Thursday and we got an update where the agility course got a buff to its XP per hour. Previously, upon going through the last obstacle of the course, you would get around 970 XP, I believe. And now you get over 1k. But not only that, you also get more XP for going through basically any obstacle in the course. So I was thinking about how I can still tell you guys the accurate XP per hour. And I did one hour of the agility course after the update and I got 62k XP in that hour. Another thing is, is that prior to today's update, there was no Runelite plugin for the agility course meaning that the green boxes that every agility course has on Runelight was non-existent for Priftinus, but that's fixed and you also get a green box for a portal, so you're not going to miss any portal in the future. I definitely missed a few, so maybe you can even get more crystal shards, but I do think that I did go through the majority of them, so there's that. Anyways, in total, I got 590k agility XP, which was prior to the update, but if I was to do this after the update, as I said, the total XP count would look around 620k XP. So yeah, expect around 62 to 63k XP per hour. I did fail the course. You need 75 agility to do it, by the way. And I did it with level 85 and 86, and I was still failing the course, so... I'm not sure what level you need to stop filling the course, but I did fill it not a lot, but still a decent amount for being 10 levels over the requirement to even do the course. So I was kind of caught off guard by that. I do have to say major props to the Jagex team. The whole update looks amazing and there's a lot of content to do. But not only that, the whole agility course looks really, really good. Uh, another thing that is unique to this agility course is that there's actually a sort of a high score system implemented into it. Uh, I think that the fastest global time of completing the course is 1 minute and 3 seconds. The average timer is around 1 minute and 10 seconds. The fastest that I did it was 1 minute and 4 seconds, but that's kind of RNG based because some portals save you a lot more time than others. So without going through any teleporters, I think that the average time is 1 minute and 14 seconds, but then the teleports cut off 5 to 10 seconds off the course. So there's that. And you can check the statistics with an NPC in the center of Priftinus, so 
that's something really cool and uh, yeah I'm genuinely really happy with how this update turned out anyways I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did you already know what to do have a great day and I hope to see you all later